Hi. <clears throat> Earlier today, our line posted a photo of a Rex dodecahedron that he created a three cycle on. This is the photo he posted and is showing a three cycle of these small triangle pieces. And you can see um, this red triangle went to the green face, this green triangle went to the yellow face, and then the yellow triangle went to the red face to create a three cycle. <coughs> now, this photo is a little bit hard to tell, but this red point is pointing at that edge, and this yellow point is pointing over here at this edge, and then this green point is pointing at that edge. So I'm going to show this on what is essentially an equivalent puzzle. This is Gelatin Brains 1.2.3, so I'll switch back and forth here a little bit. And you can see like this white triangle right here corresponds to that white triangle right there. And then this yellow triangle right here corresponds to that purple triangle right there. And so Arline commented that he had a 4-3 commutator to create this 3-cycle. Now, a 4-3 commutator means that um, the, the x portion was 4 moves, the y portion was 3 moves, and then he undid x, and then he undid y. And I, I made an offhand comment that uh, I reverse engineered the sequence, and it's, it's actually really straightforward to do. Um, and so this is the logical process that, that I went through. Um, in order to move, so a, a 4 move sequence must be a 1-1 one, one commutator. So you pick two, two faces, you know, or two vertices, and that is a 1-1 one, one commutator. His four move sequence must have been of that form. It could be, you know, it, it could be like something like this, or, you know, he could turn this one this direction and that one that direction. You know, it, it could really be anything, but it, it, it really involves, the, the, the four move sequence really must be a 1-1 one, one commutator. Um, and so the question is, is how can we get the yellow triangle that was right here over to there using a 1-1 one, one commutator. Um, and, uh, so that's question number one. And then question number two is how did we get the red triangle to that point? Or rather, how did we get the green triangle to that spot? So the green triangle we're talking about is that, that triangle right there, is that triangle right there. And we need to get that triangle to that spot. And you can see that that's a one move process. So we know the Y portion of the commutator must involve that move. And so now we need to figure out what the X portion is. We need to get this triangle to that location. And that's really, really straightforward. There's only one way to do it with a one one commutator. And that's that move. So we put it right there. And then we're gonna put that triangle in its place. And then we're gonna undo, undo. So now we've done a one one commutator and we've moved the triangle that was there to right there. Now we need to move the triangle that is right here to that spot, so that's the y portion. Now let's undo x, excuse me, undoing x would be this, and then let's undo y, and you can see that we created a three cycle. It, it's not a pure three cycle, um, but at least it has the right shape, so it moved that triangle to that triangle to that triangle, you know, and, and it did a three cycle. So the question is, is we already have the form right, so let's take a look at this again. So that's the four moves. Now we know that our line has three moves, and the, the problem is, is we need to get this triangle to there, but this extra stuff is in the way. This center and that triangle is in the way. It's trivial to move it out of the way with that move. And then we do that move, and then we undo. So that's the three moves. Now let's undo X. Now let's undo Y. And you can see that we just created a three cycle that matches the pattern that our line showed. And, and the reason this is so easy to do is because we know the form of the commutator. We know it's a 4-3 commutator because our line said it was. There's only one 1-1 one, one sequence, four move sequence, that's going to move this triangle over to that spot. And there's, you know, it's pretty obvious that that triangle, this triangle to this spot, is only a single move. That's pretty straightforward too. So the question, the only unknown is what is the, the setup move in the three move sequence that makes it possible? So let me show that again. Do the four portion. Now we know we need to do this because that'll move that triangle to right there. And that'll take up one of the three moves. And so that's the only unknown. That's the only thing we had to deduce. And we sort of had to 
get to this position and then go, okay, what, what moves are available to us that will allow us to do this without affecting anything else? And then we can just undo our X and then undo our Y. So there's not really a whole lot of thought involved in, in this whole process. Um, by looking at the picture and, under and already being told what the form of the commutator is, um, that it's really straightforward. Now, if our line said it was like a 5-1, that would be a little bit harder. Um, so here, this is what it would look like in 5-1 form. So I believe it would be this, no, excuse me, 6-1. So it would be this, 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 that, now 1, and then undo. <coughs> and that's way, way, way harder. And so if our line had said that he had a 6, 1, instead what we, would sh we should do is we should move the conjugate that is on the 4 portion that turns it into a 6. You, you know, when you have a, a, a 6 move conjugate, that really, or a, a 6 move portion, that really means that you have a conjugate and then a, a 1, 1 conjugator, and then you undo your conjugate. We would want to move that conjugate onto the y portion, which you can always do. Um, and so instead we should be looking for a 1, 1 commutator and then finding the conjugate that was supposed to be there and doing it and moving it to the y portion instead. So, you know, it would be much easier for us to search for this in the 4, 3 form instead of the 6, 1 form, which is what our line said it was in the first place. Um, and then the only other comment I have is that it's actually possible to shorten this sequence very easily. So this was the 1, 1 commutator. This move right here, this, this last move, it, it's completely unnecessary. You know, it has no effect on this move at all. So if we just do a three move conjugate instead, three moves, and then do the other three, and then that's only 12 moves instead of 14 moves. It's the shortest possible commutator you can do on this to pure three cipher loops triangles. It's really straightforward to see, um, and in fact, like, you know, pretty much any random pattern that you, you if you take a picture of, of, a, of a commutator on a puzzle, and then you say what the form of the commutator is, and it's not too long, then it's really straightforward to figure out exactly how it works. And that's the, the thought process that I went through to do it. Um, there's, you know, there's lots of other potential possibilities. You could try like moving that triangle there, and then, no, it doesn't go into the right spot. It needs to go into that spot. Like, you know, th the, the only possible thing that these two triangles share in common in a single move is just this spot. And so you could have tried moving it there and then moving it there, but now you've done two moves, and what do you do? Then you undo this move, undo that move, and like then, then that makes a mess because you've now moved this piece and the triangle's gone to the wrong location. So, you know, you, you do have to play with the 1-1 one, one commutator a little bit to figure out that it's this instead of say, instead of say this. But um, really, it, it doesn't take a, a whole lot of playing with it to figure it out. So now if, if we do this, it's gonna involve the, the, the wrong, uh, oh, let me start over there. So if we do, if we do this instead, now that's the white triangle. So this three cycle is gonna involve the white triangle instead. So um, I gotta think about this, sorry about that. Okay, so wh where was the one one commutator here? It was this move, this move, this move, this move. Then here's the three portion. And then to undo, we do this, 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 and then undo the three portion. And see, it, it, do, it involves three different pieces. Or it, it, it basically, it, it, instead of involving the, this triangle, it involves this triangle. And so you do have to look at the one one commutator a little bit to figure out how it works. But that's really the, the just figuring out which what is the one one commutator and then figuring out what the setup move is for the three portion. You know, what's the unknown conjugate portion is, is really the only unknowns in this. Um, and by looking at it, you, you can eliminate all the possibilities and, and come to the right one almost immediately. So that's how I reverse engineered this picture into that exact three cycles. It's pretty straightforward.